Hello, I'm Leonard Bolick and the North Carolina Senate Assembly is just around the corner. Uh, thank you for coming to our gathering tonight as we anticipate a wonderful gathering on the campus of Orion University. It'll be a time for celebration, a time for education, and a time for legislation. It'll be an opportunity for us to see God's Holy Spirit at work. So as we prepare for our gathering in Hickory, I'd like you to help us prepare. I invite your prayers that you pray that God's Spirit might guide us. I invite you to participate in the Book of Faith Bible studies that you're going to be receiving over the next uh, several months. Online you can visit and gather information about how you can be studying God's Word and how you can be praying that this will be a time for God to work among us. You're going to be hearing now in just a moment from various people who will be participating about all the events and it's taking place while we gather in Hickory. Hello, I'm Beth. I am an assistant to the bishop with responsibilities mostly in the areas of candidacy and working with congregations. For the assembly, I work with the Committee on Reference and Council. We've received three resolutions this year and those resolutions should be posted on the Synod website by the time you see this video. We hope that you'll review those and come ready to debate and vote on them at the Assembly. Also at the Assembly, there will be forums, two forums, that are open to voting members and anyone else. So we're hoping that you will invite anybody who has an interest in the educational opportunities that the forums provide. Hi, I'm Ernie Enohus, I'm Director for Evangelical Mission here in North Carolina. My responsibilities include working with mission congregations, with new worshiping communities, with existing congregations seeking process of renewal and revitalization, stewardship, mission support, and mission strategy for the Synod. I also partner with my bishop staff colleagues and accompanying congregations in the call process. I'm really excited about this year's assembly, particularly some of the forums that are going to be available to you who attend. Particularly in the area of renewal ministry, we get calls and have conversations with people all across the Synod who tell us that they love their church, but that the levels of fruitfulness and vitality that they have once known aren't what they used to be. And they ask us, what can we do? If that might be you, we would encourage you to attend one of our forums on renewal, where you can find out what renewal is. Are you a good candidate as a congregation for a process of renewal? And if you are, which process makes sense for you and how do you get started? We'd love to see you there. We'll also be recognizing some new leaders of some of our newest ministries in the North Carolina Synod, which is always an exciting thing. Finally, I'd like to encourage you to walk through the Cromer Center at some point during your time at Assembly and see important information about ministries of the Synod and ministries that are supported by the Synod. That means you. Hi, I'm Phil Tonneson. I serve as a member of the Bishop's staff and have primary responsibility for the call process global mission, conflict resolution, and in our, I relate to our 18 conference deans. During our annual Synod Assembly held on the campus of Lenoran University, I relate to our nominations committee and our elections committee. Some things to keep in mind this year related to elections, we'll be electing 17 voting members from North Carolina who will attend the next ELCA churchwide assembly, which will be held in August of 2013 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We'll also be electing a vice president to a four-year term. One change in elections this year will be the ratification ballot. That will take place on one election ballot and will really help to streamline the process. One thing that I'm really looking forward to at our upcoming assembly is the opportunity we will have to serve in the Hickory community on Saturday afternoon. I encourage everyone to sign up for that opportunity as we seek to provide a positive witness to those in that community. Thank you so much for your ministry and I look forward to seeing you in Hickory. May God bless you. 
Hi, I'm Anna Glass. Our theme this year is joyfully serving Christ together, and Saturday morning that's what we plan to do. We'll be leaving the auditorium and heading out to the community to serve and learn together in our blue shirts. And if you register by May 15th, the t-shirts are included in your registration costs. There will be projects for everyone of all ability levels. From making prayer shawls to working with a hammer to care packages, everyone can serve. And that will be the only agenda item on Saturday after devotions. If you have persons of color or a primary language other than English, please invite them to join us. Each congregation will get one additional vote for these persons. This also applies if you have more than 500 confirmed contributing members. Worship for the closing of assembly will celebrate Easter with the Reverend Mark Fitzsimmons preaching. Come and sing and celebrate Easter with us. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Norris and I'm serving as one of your chaplains this year for the 2012 North Carolina Synod Assembly. For those of you that witnessed the National Lutheran Youth Gathering in 2009, when 36,000 orange shirts spread throughout New Orleans, we are going to do the sim something similar this year, but on a smaller scale. On Saturday morning, we will spread throughout Hickory into a variety of service projects. Don't forget that each congregation can send a youth voting member. If your church has 500 or more confirmed or contributing members, then you may send two. Let's average the age of the Senate Assembly since it's on the weekend this year. Anna and I would sure love some company. Worship for the Assembly this year will feature two special seasons. On Friday night, we will gather and celebrate Holy Communion and the Christmas season. Bishop Bullock will be preaching. It's sure not Christmas in July, but it's close. In addition to all these things, we will have special guest Reverend Don McCoyd as our ELCA representative and Reverend Rosemary Peake as our Bible study leader. If you need more information, please visit the North Carolina Synod website at www.nclutheran.org or email Tammy Jones West, our assembly manager. Tammy at lutheranyouth.org is her email. All worship services are open to the public and everyone is welcome. Bring a friend to our closing worship on Sunday. We'd love to have guests. Please keep the planners and organizers in your prayers as we prepare. We can't wait to welcome you to our 2012 assembly.